friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys and take you along with me while I finish up or really just reveal our finished bathroom upstairs. Praise the Lord. <laughs> um, but if you're new here, hi, my name is Caitlin Runyon and I make videos on home decor, homemaking, and lifestyle. Um, so if you're into any of that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, but otherwise, welcome again to just my catch-up video and up to update you guys on where I've been. It's been a few weeks, I think, since I've uploaded a video, and that was not originally my plan. Uh, I wanted to kind of take you guys step-by-step step as I finished the bathroom, um, but I was not able to do that, and a big reason is because I was sick for about a week. Um, but also before that, I went on a last minute business trip with my husband out to Nevada, and so it's just been a busy few weeks, and I'm just really sorry. <laughs> but our bathroom is basically finished. The only thing that we have not finished are our floating shelves that are going to go above our toilet. My husband is going to make those and install them, and hopefully in the next few weeks. So I'm hoping in the next few weeks I've been able to take you guys along with me while I clean and decorate that room. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys our house and the things that have been updated since you've been gone. Like, I don't think I've shown you guys our carpet since we got it installed. We got new chairs in the dining room. I made some curtains. Um, and I just kind of updated some small pieces of decor here and there as well um, that I haven't had a chance to film. So I thought I'd just take you guys along with me while I clean and update a lot of those things as well. Um, so this is really just going to be probably a shorter video. Not sure yet see um but i'll take you guys along with me while we do that and i just wanted to thank you guys who have subscribed since i've been gone hello thank you for hanging out with me and for following along uh, i'm super excited about all the projects that are coming up with the nursery as well that's our next project now that the bathroom's done so i will take you guys along with me while i do that i'll probably make a um Kind of like a design inspiration video. I know I did that at the beginning of the year with some design boards for what I wanted to do this year for um, updating all the rooms, but unfortunately nursery takes priority because of the baby coming soon. I am currently at 24 weeks. Well, by the time this comes out, I'll be at 25 weeks pregnant, and so I'm getting bigger and I'm getting slower. So <laughs> I figure. I'll probably be making more videos for that reason as well, just to take you guys along with me throughout this journey of becoming a mom and becoming a parent while we also just update our home and I start nesting, as they say, as well. Um, if anyone cares and is curious, I am currently, like I said, at 24, almost 25 weeks pregnant. And if you don't follow me on social media, I have my handle at the end of, at the end of every video. But we announced, I think, about a month ago that we're having baby boy, and so I'm very excited about that, to have a little boy to run around with and to get into all the things with. So, that is it for this update, and without further ado, let's just get right on it. Okay, I want to start off by showing you guys our carpet. Um, if you can tell from this little video clip, it is a speckled carpet that has a cream and a taupe and a light gray. And we just thought that'd be great for stains and things like that. Uh, but I think this just pulls everything else in up upstairs together. Um, I've only painted our bedrooms. So if you can't tell, it's not a cream anymore. It's like a light, light, light gray. Um, I just think it looks really great with the carpet and then our new sage um, bedspread that I love. My husband really wanted to go with green, so we decided to do that. And I just think the gray looks a lot better than the cream does with that green um, duvet. And I think all the wood tones in our room as well just go really good with the gray as well, as well as the new carpet since it has a little bit of that gray in there as well. It just feels a lot more put together and I am grateful for it. <laughs> Up 
next are our dining room chairs that we got. Um, we got these from BidFTA. If you don't know what BidFTA is, it's kind of like a return service so you can get things discounted. So these are really cheap and I did, so I wasn't planning on going on white with wood legs, but I really liked how these looked. Um, and so I think even though the rest of our dining room is pretty white, I think these go really well just because of the fact that we do have some darker tones, some blacks and some grays that work really well. So they just kind of accent everything and blend in really well. Um, and I really liked that about them. Up next are the curtains that I made out of canvas. Um, these were a natural canvas color that I just bleached and washed and let dry. Um, I just cut, I didn't even cut them in half. I just got two packages of them and called it a day and hung them up with some rings that I got from Amazon that are black and I really like how they turned out I was pleasantly surprised that they weren't too cream or white or any of that um, and they blend in really well with everything else in the dining room so I was really pleased and proud that I didn't ruin anything <laughs> the next item is this huge vase that I got from a friend of the family um, it's very large, but I thought it'd look really cool on our dining room table. I really like oversized vases for greenery. Um, so I placed it on our table and put some greenery picks that I got from Hobby Lobby and Target. And I also added another photo finally to this wall. So that's a little bit more filled in. Um, it's just another wedding photo that I've been putting off. Next is just this little corner of the kitchen. I have been wanting to change things around in this corner for a while because I haven't been drinking much coffee. So I wanted to put some other things out like some sweet treats. So these are some no-bake cookies and a little cake stand from the Hearth and Hand line. And then there's this vase with natural flowers. I think they are just little daisies with black centers. These are real flowers. They don't need a ton of light. So I thought that being in this dark corner wouldn't be too bad. And it kind of brings a little bit of greenery to this like very neutral corner <laughs> but I like how it turned out it's simple and it has some things I actually use and like to look at so everything else in the kitchen pretty much stayed the same but I went ahead and did a flyby with my camera so you could see those corners as well and then onto the living room. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some things on this side table that I've been meaning to switch out. So I will go ahead and put on some candlesticks that I love. I love the simplicity of black candlesticks. Some books that I then stack with um, my Bible and a basket with some greenery in it. I wanted to keep this corner fairly simple, so I wanted just to add some greenery and some books just to keep the colors neutral, but to add some life to this corner. And then I go ahead and add a candle because you can't have living room decor without a nice scented candle. <laughs> And everything else I just kind of kept pretty much the same but I went ahead and again did some flybys so you could see some of the living room since I haven't updated you guys with it in a while And next thing is just the bathroom reveal. So I just went ahead and added some of the last minute or the last shots that I took of my husband putting in the board and batten before we finished the bathroom. But this is the last footage that I took. So after this, I'll just show you the bathroom. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments of what you like and what you don't like. Um, I love how it turned out. And as you know, I was super excited to use this powder room sign that I got from the Hearth and Hand line. And I just hung it up with some magnet hooks because our door is made out of solid steel. And then the bathroom reveal.
this corner looks really bare. Um, but this is the part of the bathroom that I said we haven't finished yet. So these, this is where um, floating shelves are going to go and the, the corner um, leading on top of the toilet. So just wanted to show you guys, it's very bare, but that's where all of our shelving is going to go that I'm excited to decorate. And that is our bathroom reveal. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and have enjoyed hanging out with me for this video and just catching up on all the home decor things for the summertime. I'm obsessed with our new bathroom. I love the green. I love the black. I love the simplicity and neutrality of it. Um, it just makes for a clean and organized bathroom and I love it. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me and I will see you guys next video. Have a blessed day.